Hi guys. Sometimes it's a little easier to get your point across. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of uncertainty. And I, last night I went live on the way home from doing some deliveries. And it is the talk in the food and the app gig. Um, niche industry that there is a huge possibility that Lyft and Uber are going to shut down because they want to revamp and figure out if they're going to have their workers be a W-2. And the point I was trying to make, there's a few tidbits of information I'm going to share here. Last night, to the people who are in the field, I mean, there's a lot of different kind of people in the world, but there are a lot of people that I know they, they're not made for time clock jobs. They're not made for going into an office. They actually found something that they enjoy doing and they're, they're supporting themselves, which is great because a lot of those people were not supporting themselves before the gig apps came around. And a lot of people know how to earn, and on average, $500 a week. I'm, I'm taking an educated guess. Some people a lot more, some people a little less, but the point is they're supporting themselves. If Lyft and Uber close down, the government, they're gonna have to support them. That one and a half trillion that they're trying to figure out with the stimulus, they want three trillion, the Democrats, and the Republicans want one trillion, and they're trying to meet in the middle. Well, if Uber and Lyft shut down, they're going to have to support all those people. They're going to have a lot more money in that stimulus check. There's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake. And I spoke with my mother today when we were catching up. I am a blue collar worker and I know I'm taking a chance on, you know, taking a chance online and I'm creating something from nothing. I, I get that. But I also understand, I also understand that as an example, all the fast food places, McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Burger King, just to name a handful, they are going with a skeleton crew. This is my observation from being in the field all week. I worked a little bit every day, and people missed me because now I worked the hours I was working pre-pandemic. And they're keeping the good ones on because those people, they're running the show very differently now. Dining rooms aren't open. Um, yes, I could walk up to the counter at Wendy's, but at Popeye's, that's another example. And some, some BKs, it depends on the town. It depends. They're not all run the same. You can just walk in the foyer and they have a table there. You can't even walk in the door. They come up to you. They ask you, what are you here for? They go get the food. They bring it out to you, to the table. You're not even in the restaurant. So they only, these companies think that they only need half staff because the dining rooms aren't open. There's less ground to cover. But that line, all the places I went to yesterday, the lines were, you know, long outside and the couple of places that you were able to go into people were just moody they were angry it wasn't fast you know because of what's going on there's a lot of people that lost their jobs in those in, in the fast food industry they kept all the good ones all the real fast ones what about the people that fit the part able to do the job and they were able to work they're not working anymore. So that's more people that the government must cover. 
I could go on and on about that. Sometimes I find it hard to spit it out. But last night, like, I, I just had it. Yesterday, when you're in the field and you're paying attention to what's going on, sometimes it takes a little time for it to sink in. There's a lot of people that did lose their jobs. You, you could say it both ways. Some people say there's plenty of jobs out there, but not, not everyone's going to get hired. And those people that did have those jobs, they don't have them anymore. I'm putting a link in the description below. I listened to Clear Value Tax today. He was very precise to what's going on. He's another channel that I do enjoy watching. So I thought I would give him a precise shout out. <laughs> very good video. Check out his channel. He's another one that keeps you in the know. And he's all over it. And listening to him, he, you know, we're just the politicians, the government, they, they might as well just go like this and say, we'll see what happens. Listen to him. He knows his stuff. Um, here's another tip because of what I've been doing lately. There's an app out there called GoodRx if you don't have insurance. I have insurance, but I wasn't sure. I've never really needed medication. It, it, it comes with getting older in life a little bit. I, I'm just someone who always took a lot of pride. I don't need meds. I don't need to take anything. You know, an occasional sinus headache. My face hurts. That's it. You know, I lived with that for years, but I take over the counter stuff. But because things are changing, I downloaded the app GoodRx because you could get a discount on medication prescriptions if you need it, if you, if you don't have health insurance, guys. Speaking with my mother, I'm gonna speak about EIDL. With everything going on, the stimulus, what's going on in the economy, the world, everything. Waiting, 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 waiting. Don't give up, because I, I was catching up with my mom, and she worked for Fortune Off years ago, and after 11 years, it's an act called WARN Act, W-A-R-N Act, Compliance Assistance. It's Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. What it is, it makes sure that companies give employees with 60 calendar day advance notification of plant closing and mass layoffs of employees as defined in the act that was created in 1988. And she worked for a company that, you know, they were a big name and then they went out of business. She was one of the last people to be left go because she worked in the office but she received compensation from that one act this week. 11 years later. So don't lose hope with everything. Think about it. She, she, she just figured she wasn't going to get anything. She was very shocked. 11 years. So with the EIDL, it's going to be a long wait. With the stimulus... I believe we're not going to have any answers or receive any assistance until September. It's just my gut feeling. Even if they decided today, it would take a few weeks to put everything into play. All the right protocol, the right procedures they need to follow. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time for this economy to get back to, the, to everyone thriving, no one sacrificing no anxiety, no helplessness. It's going to take a long time. So take it day by day. This community, we can all inform each other, keep each other in the know. Don't give up. Follow Jason EIDL. I'm just going to keep doing what he's saying. 
It might take another year or two. You just never know. Sharing that. Here's another example. My mother, this is, this is all about the pandemic. She does something with her finances. She has a financial advisor and she received a letter from the IRS that she didn't pay her taxes with something, whatever. However, she has her money, you know, financed. And she told me over the past couple of weeks what was going on. And they got to the end, they got to the problem of it. Why did that happen? Because now she was getting charged late fees because the IRS was telling her she wasn't paying her tax on whatever she has, you know, in a financial package. And they got down to it, and, and this is true. Wherever the office is in Ohio or something, they have offices everywhere. There's a bin outside of the IRS office, wherever that office, that specific office is. And because it was closed for weeks, they're so backlogged that they didn't get to the mail yet. The mail is still sitting outside of the building, waiting for a person to be able to open it put it into the system. You gotta put the data into the system. Now, of course, we all know that technology is used to expedite, um, you know, late fees, or maybe it doesn't have to be something negative. And then a person jumps in on it, if need be. That's why you need to know all your stuff. Um, her accountant didn't know until it was brought to his attention by her, she obviously wasn't the only one, and that's what happened. So this is all about this pandemic, what's going on. So many people are being affected by what's going on. It just trickles down. It's getting worse, it's creating more problems, and it's continuing to create more problems and more problems. You gotta work harder, you gotta stay on top of things, you know, or you'll be charged more money. I hope you found this interesting. I felt like sharing some information. I will include clear value tax URL to his YouTube channel in the description below. I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. I'm just gonna take it day by day like everyone else. And if you work, I hope you earn some money and I'll help keep you in the know. Hang in there, everyone. I'll see you soon.